Contrary to interpretations of their decision to refrain from the upcoming state elections as a boycott, both MCA and MIC have defended their decision as a strategic one. MIC Deputy President M. Saravanan clarified that their decision was based on the assessment that AMNO has a higher likelihood of victory in the constituencies assigned to BN. He described this approach as aligning with the spirit of Cameron Highlands. Speaking to reporters after the BN Supreme Council meeting in Kuala Lumpur last night, he said Cameron Highlands used to be an MIC constituency, but they stepped aside to let AMNO run. This is because the party believed AMNO had a higher chance of winning. He referred to the Cameron Highlands by-election in January 2019, which transpired after C. Sivaraj's victory was declared void due to corruption allegations. In that scenario, MIC had allowed Ramli Muhammad Noor to run as a direct BN candidate, bypassing BN component party membership. Saravanan further elaborated what matters to MCA is a BN victory and stressed there's no boycott. Conversely, MCA Deputy President Ma Hang Soon underscored that the party would actively campaign for BN candidates during the state elections. Ma said BN had a fruitful meeting and both parties have explained that they will assist BN candidates with their campaigns. Last week, MCA and MIC announced their decision not to run in the six state elections scheduled for August 12th. MCA explained this move as an opportunity to concentrate on reform and revival in preparation for the 16th general election.